Cyrus the Great. Yeah, hello. What's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing? I love those proclamations you laid down after you uh, liberated Babylon. Very nice. <laughs> Universal human rights. Really good. King of Sumer, King of Akkad. Cyrus the Great. All right, so I just I just want to lay something out for you guys. Maybe it will raise more questions. Probably help some people. So I just want to say that as human beings, we only see zero point zero zero thirty five of the light spectrum. So there is a lot a lot of things that we don't see. So it is normal that in our own human mind we cannot conceive God. And all religions uh, they point to one thing as life being a simulation, some sort of test. So if we were sent here like on a test, we wouldn't God yeah, wouldn't show contradicts that idea because billions of years were dedicated to non intelligent life here on the earth. Yeah, but billions of years, you, there's nothing. There's nothing that we know of the past that isn't true today. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, but over the overwhelming majority of all life on Earth is not intelligent and does not well not not in the capacity that they have the ability to ask these sorts of questions and formulate. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. We, we cannot conceive God. We cannot so, make an image of God. So therefore, well, if we're here on a simulation, if, if we can't if we can't conceive of God, then we can't logically believe that He exists. It's definitionally irrational. Yeah, you you could choose to believe that the God doesn't exist, but once we die, we will be like, He will be taken to somewhere else, and maybe I don't believe that either. Oh, you can Cyrus, live your life as an atheist; a, it doesn't Cyrus, matter. You can live your life as Cyrus. Hang on a sec. That's a positive claim that you're making there. That... Sorry. That's a positive claim that you're making there, that there is something after death, that there is an afterlife. Something there is an afterlife, because I've watched a lot of like near-death experiences. There is an afterlife. What, we do not understand what it consists of. So therefore, in this life, you could live as an atheist, as a Muslim, as a Buddhist. It doesn't matter. You'll be judged for your deeds, what you've done in this life. That's, Why that's would it... the thing I'm saying. Okay, there's, there's a problem there. And obviously, okay, there has been a lot of research, like a lot of research done into near-death experiences, or what what you what we describe as a near-death experience, and I'm sure I'm certain if you read into this, if you if you looked at the studies that, that have been done across the world about this, I'm sure you're familiar with what the general consensus is on near-death experiences, right? Sort of, yeah. Maybe you could share your thoughts. That well, the general consensus of science is that the 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 incidents are too rare. And they're too unique to the person to to get any kind of objective knowledge off of it. That it's there's a lot of similarities. There's a lot of similarities. Well, no, it's essentially there's it's a subjective experience. In fact, uh, there are similarities across the board, but no two NDEs are the same. And different people will have different experiences. And what they found when studying these experiences of people who've been revived and they've recounted these things is that their experiences are, number one, that they are deeply rooted in the person's own personal belief systems, the things that they hold to themselves, okay? And so they found that NDEs actually have a regional similarity. So near-death experiences studied in North America actually differ from near-death experiences studied in India. And near death experiences studied in Africa and in Japan and around the world, that there is actually a regional impression upon the outcome of the NDE, which means that the conclusion that they came to, and number two, is that oftentimes they they function like like memory. So they'll that in essence, if this is the person recounting something that they believe that they've remembered, or that they there's essentially and they fade like they fade like memories. When they're not in, when they're not uh, transferred to long term memory. So what people have concluded is that it really is no more. We can't get any more information. To say it's nothing more than a hallucinogenic experience, informed by the person's belief structures, triggered by the onset of chemicals in the brain at the moment of death or prior to. Yeah, the but I just death. want to add something else. Us, the brain, our bodies, we are electricity. We're light, basically. Yeah, we are in our bodies, but our brain functions through synapses. And between those synapses, it's electricity. And us as being of lights, light is sort of eternal. And God created us as beings of light. 
So that's what I'm saying. Those memories, everything no, uh, relates no, to life. You're, you're, see, that's another positive claim. Do you understand where brain electrical impulse, where it comes from? Like what Synapses. the center of it is from? Because we do. We Synapses. do understand where it comes from. Yeah, okay, but I'm going to ask you something else. No, no, no. All no. The... Where, where does it come from, Cyrus? Like, how does the brain generate this stuff? How do neurons fire? How do neurons fire? It's yes. through synapses. What is the process? What is the biological process behind this? Because if there, there literally is one thing, if I take one thing away from your body, your brain will cease to function outright. Uh, it's the cere cerebellum? No, it's part of the, the ability for your cells to generate energy. It's called adenosine triphosphate. If your cells cannot generate energy, then neurons cannot fire. Okay, okay. The, you're, you're right about that. Okay, but this That's doesn't it. change, doesn't okay, change the it, fact. It's not, it's not that we're made of this. It's that we have cellular structures that are able to metabolize sugar and create energy via ATP. And that ATP is what allows us to generate, allows our body to generate the energy to function. If you remove that one little thing, the body will cease to function completely. It'll cease to function, but as I said, your soul, it's, it's light. It's not ATP. What? No, there's no light there. And the, the, what, the electrical impulses within the brain are generated by the neurons. Okay, I'm going to ask you another question. If all the, like, all things that are alive, they, have, they do have a heart. But what makes your heart beat? We don't have a battery. No, right? it's the brain telling the heart to beat. Well, it's actually, the brain well actually, sorry, sorry. There is a nerve. That, the, that allows the brain to communicate with the heart, and the heart itself is an involuntary muscle. Which it's an involuntary it muscle. That, that's there's the nothing. function of the heart. There's no, there's no battery. There's no energy that makes your heart beat. No, there is energy. There absolutely is energy. That is, that is what that ATP does. That's what ATP does. It allows your cells to generate energy to do things, to actually live and function. Like, like one cardiac cell, just one cardiac cell obviously doesn't beat. But if I put all the cardiac cells into position, like all of them together, by their genetic, by their by their genetic chemical interactions, boom! I have a heart, and that heart beats, and that beat is regulated by impulses from the brain. Okay, so there's just another thing I want to talk about. So as I said before, we only see point zero zero thirty five of the light spectrum. How can you, like, how can you think there's there's nothing, like above or something more that we don't see? Because we've created it's, tools that allow us to see in other spectrums that our eyes can't. Well, here's the thing, Cyrus. Anything that we do see or, or will observe in nature is natural. I don't see any reason from supernatural explanations because they don't actually explain anything. They're just a cap to put on inquiry. If I want to know how something works, right, just telling me that it works doesn't inform me of anything. Have you ever seen somebody conduct a, like a magic trick with a deck of cards or some sort of illusion? Yeah. And if you ever ask them, how did you do that? And they respond with magic. Have you learned anything? It's perception. It's usually tricks of... Exactly. Perception. Okay, but Cyrus, go. if you say, how did you do that? And they respond with magic. Have they informed you how they did it? No, most of the time, no, but it's some of them, yeah. Can you, my can, friend, well, hold on. Can you provide an example of when they say magic and that actually explains how they did it? How, how they did it? Magic doesn't exist. It doesn't there you exist. go. Oh, okay, well, that's fine. But but that doesn't, yeah, but the, that supernatural, doesn't, the supernatural in general doesn't explain anything. It just defies all mechanisms and conventions of human thought so that we can't conceive of it or think about it or rationalize it, but it exists. It's but yeah, there's been some man. cases, I just want to add that there's been some cases of uh, sick patients who are believers and they just, they just been cured. Somehow. And there's been cases of sick patients that were believers and weren't cured and cases of sick patients that yeah, weren't we believers question. and were cured. And even cases of sick patients that were believers in other religions that were cured. It's almost as though the human body is completely random. itself irrespective of what a person believes. Right. Makes no difference if you're a believer and what believer you are and what religion it is. It don't make anyway, any. There seems to be no correlation. We'll go ahead and move on to the next person because uh, a couple of people say they have arguments for God. So we'll uh, we'll see what they got. Maybe we'll. Uh... <clears throat> One more thing before he goes. Those electrical yeah. impulses of the brain are the exact yeah. same kind of electrical impulse that powers that makes my amplifiers work. And you can yeah. actually use those 
electrical impulses like no, in the amplifiers. The the amplifier is God for 20. Enough. Yeah. No more amplifier talk. Okay, moving wow. on. <laughs> drywall. Let's go. Come on up here, drywall. You got your argument for God. Why does I God exist? Let us know. So I, I respect your 